After almost a decade of being in what I consider the greatest profession in the world, there is nothing more satisfying than sitting in our advocates, attorneys, or accountants' offices witnessing documents being signed for their estate and legacy plan being finally completed. Most of the time, one of the spouse has been the driver. That is the person with whom I have spent the most time and have come to know very well. The other spouse has been an integral part as well, but sometimes I realize that I didn't spend that much time getting to know them and I'd only spent the time together talking mostly about life insurance, legal documents, and death. Working in an industry where the conversation is focused around what happens after a death, there is only one way for a plan to come to fruition. And no matter how often it happens, eventually my phone rings. Almost always, I remember the exact moment the phone rings. I remember what I'm doing, what the weather is like. Sometimes I don't get to the phone right away and then have to listen to the message. No one ever says in that message, so-and-so has passed away. The words are invariably, Kevin, when you have a moment, can you please call me? But I know exactly what that phone call is about. Let me tell you about a beautiful Saturday night a few summers ago. I had just come home after a round of golf and somehow missed a phone call. I noticed it was a client's business partner and nothing felt right about the message. I later found out that I was one of the first calls that had been made after he found out the news. When I work with families creating plans, they become like my own family. I get to know their hopes, their dreams, their desires, and when a client passes away, I feel like one of my own friends has left this world. So shortly after the call, I went to my client's home to visit his wife to assure her everything will be okay. As I walked through the door, I looked across the room and saw my client in her father's arms crying. But the next thing she did, I'll remember for the rest of my life. When she saw me that I was standing across the room, she stood up straight, looked me in the eye and yelled, this was never supposed to happen. The room went silent. You see, at that moment, when I walked into the room, I represented the reality that he was really dead. I didn't know what to do. He was a friend and one of my best clients. I wanted to do something, but all I could do was stand there and wait because I felt I owed it to his family to be there. The next days and weeks were when I really could do something. They were extremely busy for everyone involved, endless meetings for both business and personal reasons, but in the end, stock from his company was efficiently transferred within a short period of time and the business kept running effectively. The personal meetings made sure his widow felt safe and secure because of all of the planning we had done over the years. How could he have accomplished such an amazing feat? How could he have possibly kept all of his promises to his business and his family? You want to know how? It's because of professionals who care deeply about our clients. And yes, we do care enough to make certain that we use the powerful tools and incredible benefits, especially of life insurance. There's so much negative talk in our world today and so many financial hacks telling individuals they don't need life insurance and that they should just put their money in the stock market. I can assure you that no one has ever refused a death benefit check or told me that I can give it to someone else. It is my wish and my hope that everyone can realize simple and powerful fact before it's too late that you need to plan for the worst and hope for the best. It is important to set big goals and dream big dreams. It's important to stay focused on those goals, especially when things get tough and they will get tough. And what I've learned is that for me, it is essential to care more for my clients' futures than they sometimes care for themselves. Steve Jobs once said, those who are crazy enough to think they can change the world usually do.